Good morning and good day, beautiful seekers and friends alike. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabella the Seeker, local friend and intuitive, here back with another reading from my beautiful collective of souls who have found their way to this video. Now, if you're new here, I would like to encourage you to subscribe below so that you don't miss any of my new and upcoming magical content. And if you're not new here, then I thank you for being here. Thank you for joining our magical family. Now, I hope you're doing well wherever you are. I hope life is treating you like a prince or a princess or a king or a queen or an empress or an emperor and welcome. We have nothing but good vibes here. I am feeling absolutely high on the energy of spirit and let's get into it. Today, we are asking spirit what it is that you need to know. What advice are we gonna receive? I have no idea. This could go a lot of different directions, so fingers crossed it's all pretty positive, but I'm definitely feeling good vibes today, so yeah, let's get into it. I've got three crystals for you to choose from. I'd like you to take three grounding deep breaths, clear your energy out, connect with that higher self, and when you're ready, here are your options. Crystal number one. Crystal number two. Crystal number three. When you're ready, you may click on the timestamp below and enjoy your reading. Welcome group number one, my Malachite pile, to your reading. Now today we are asking Spirit what it is that you need to know, spirits, angels, and guides, Please channel clear direct messages for my group number ones. What is it that they need to know? They said you're doing the most, that's for sure. Nine of Earth, yes you are. Look at you making that coin. Look at you learning how to heal your heart again. Look at you reconnecting with your higher self, connecting with your guides, connecting with your intuition, the way that you're being called to. Are you hearing voices in your head? <laughs> That's a message that came through. I feel like you're learning how to be decadent again with yourself. I feel like I'm getting a visual of someone sitting in front of a mirror and putting on bracelets, putting on jewelry, um, putting in earrings, kind of putting like blush on. Like I feel like you're you're re-empowering yourself. You're doing things that make you feel beautiful again. You're doing things that make you feel um, powerful again. Yeah, nine of earth, you're being generous as well. You're not being selfish. You're learning that what makes you tick is what, helping others is kind of part of what makes you tick, right? What makes you happy, what makes you feel fulfilled. And by doing so, by being generous with yourself, You're cultivating a lot of success, is what I'm getting. Okay, the father in reverse and the child in reverse. Hmm. So you may be at a crossroads. Um, you may be feeling like it's a moment in your life where you're meant to be stepping up to do something or like a lot of responsibility is being placed on you or like you're yeah, like, like you're being put to the test almost, or like, you know, your limits are being tested, something like that. And I'm getting an energy that that's kind of, there's resistance there for you. Like you're not really entirely down with that. Um, oh, sorry, that looks absolutely, <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, sorry. Um, but even that felt like something to me, like that felt like a message, like, 
So there is kind of this blinding um, light coming from within you that wants you to take time for yourself. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's where the, why there's resistance. If you're being called to be, you know, stepping up to the plate is what I keep hearing. Like maybe there's like a big task in front of you or you need to do something or accomplish something. There's a lot of eyes on you. There's this resistance because you want to be re-empowered in innocence, you know? Does that make sense? Um, that's what I heard. It's like it's like you you're you're feeling resistance with the world. You're feeling resistance with your material world, your material existence, and you're wanting to just kind of allow yourself to be free. Like maybe you've been thinking about time or age a lot, and it's kind of bugging you out. And I feel yeah. <laughs> Four of water. Look, he's like looking in the mirror. This reminds me of Gemini, but it, since it's water, it also reminds me obviously of water. <laughs> Gemini, we just ended Gemini season, but it allowed for a lot of self-reflection, like an intense amount of self-reflection and an intense amount of, I would say, realizing our habits, but in a way that may be a little blinded even. Like allowing our habits to get the best of us, but then also becoming aware of that and becoming aware that that's a habit in itself seems to be something that you're kind of going through or experiencing. There's a part of this that to me feels like uh, an awakening, but in a sense that's being awakened to your own um, fears as well as desires. Yeah, it feels like you're awakening to something, to something emotional, to something emotional within yourself or within your experience. It feels like you're learning how to cultivate success within your own experience without the validation or without the need for validation from others. But I want to get more into this emotional kind of awakening. What is this connected to, Spirit? The heart. Yeah, the heart space. Yeah. With the nine of earth, I'm very, very called to the heart space and the amount of stimulation. Um you may be experiencing a new love or a new relationship or like a falling out. I heard a falling out. You may have had a falling out with someone romantic um, in a sense that impacted your heart, in a sense that your heart take a, took a toll. And so that may be why you're trying to reinstill your confidence and bring yourself back up. Yeah. <laughs> Destiny in reverse. I'm hearing no song unsung. What does that mean, spirit? Okay, so for some of you, it might have to do with music. You may be a creator, an artist. Um, I'm just like looking dead in the face of this guy, this eagle, or this hawk. We just had a stare off. Yeah, it's like you're really being you're really being called to look in the mirror. You're really 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 coming to terms with something about yourself. It may be that you have a calling for something that's artistic or creative or has to do with music or singing. I don't know. No song unsung is like tripping me out. I don't know. I feel like Destiny in reverse. It feels that there was either a falling out or something went awry, something kind of broke down in your life and you're feeling like um really you know what i mean like i thought i saw that i didn't see this coming or either that or you're like i saw this coming but now that it's playing out now i'm questioning everything <laughs> or like now i'm questioning this thing you know what i mean like from the get-go i'm like was i meant to be here was this meant for me why was this meant for me what's the lesson within this that's what i'm getting that's what it feels like it does feel like there was like a stop like something came to a sudden stop in your life um, it feels like you're regaining your strength quickly though. It doesn't feel like you're, um, allowing this to bring you down too much. It feels like it's something that very much was a part of this cycle and this chapter and now a page has flipped. That's what it feels like. Definitely a page has flipped. No song unsung. No words left unspoken. Maybe it's like you spoke some truths that were harsh. 
to either yourself or to someone else, but at the same time, you're feeling empowered by that. Like there's, like there's a feeling of, um, you know, I had to say what I said and I said it and now I feel free. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. What else, Spirit? My group number ones, what else do they need to hear? Yeah, so Spirit's like, we're proud of you. We know that you're doing the right thing and you know you're doing the right thing, but I feel like you may feel like there's a temporary standstill or you may feel like something just isn't happening the way it's supposed to. Um, but they're saying that's an illusion. That's an illusion. Yeah, you're being called to look past the illusion, to look into the deeper meaning of whatever happened. Why did it happen? What was, why was that meant to happen? Wow, wow. Three of fire, so three of wands. Yeah, this came out like kind of in reverse, but it wanted to be put upright. So this to me feels like you either have the opportunity to travel or an adventure, a road trip or something, um, or you've been thinking about your desire to do so, but with it in reverse, circumstances are kind of holding you back or you feel like you're not being encouraged by your physical world to do so. Maybe you're in a job or you feel kind of trapped in a situation. Um, Spirit's saying, we want you to do what makes you feel free. We want you to do what makes you feel free. Now I'm getting an image that you may have been dreaming. Maybe pay attention to your dreams. I feel like your dreams lately have been kind of um, hinting at things in your life that are really important to you, but you've put on the back burner a little bit um, to please others or or to just like fulfill a role that you're playing right now in life. But Spirit's saying that you, if there feels like dissonance with something in your life, you're feeling that dissonance for a reason. You know, there's something that hasn't fully clicked yet within you that wants to click and that will click as soon as you can make a big leap, like a big step, like a leap of faith is what I'm getting. Um, and also I'm hearing to find adventure in the little things to find adventure in every day. So, you know, don't let every day pass you. Like, um, it's almost like there's more in front of your eyes that you're just not seeing. Like you're looking at the world around you, but for some reason you're, you're a little bit, um, there's like a haze. You're a little like blinded to something that's happening right in front of you. So it may be like the beauty of a situation happening in front of you that's unfolding, you're not really able to comprehend right now because your perspective is a little limited because now I'm seeing a hawk, a hawk flying overhead. Um, so Spirit's saying that your perspective is everything. And if you can somehow manage to gain a little perspective, maybe this video will help you uh, kickstart that or if you can write things down, write things down that are happening and just kind of put it away and then just start to do something else and, you know, go about your life, but try to go about your life in a way that has eyes open. That's what I'm getting, like opening your eyes more to what's literally right in front of you. And like, because I feel like what's right in front of you has the answers. That's what I'm getting. If you've been thinking about something or questioning something or feeling called towards something, what I'm getting is that whatever is in your immediate circumstances has the answers for you. So it's about paying attention to that, paying attention to the little things, the minute details, right? The minutia of every day. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Wow, wow. You're at a big... Wow, I feel like your soul is like um, reaching out, like it's reaching out of your body almost. Like it's like, it's like do this, do this, do this. Like I feel like you're really being called towards a lot of things right now or you're having a lot of ideas or inspiration is really like striking you. Your dreams might be a big uh, pit of inspiration <laughs> is what I'm getting. Um, and I'm hearing young love, like young love. So I don't know if you're in love or you're finding love or you're starting a relationship, but it feels like the very beginning stages of love for self um, as well as potentially love for another depends like what's going on in your life, you know, take what resonates, but I am feeling an energy of young love. <laughs> so I don't know, it might just be the feeling of young love, you know, like just being so blindly in love. See, I keep saying blindly, like, I don't know. Maybe that makes sense to you. Um, 
yeah, but there's a joy to it. There's a real essence of, of, of youthfulness to like whatever's happening on your journey right now. So just spirit wants you to know, you know, don't stress too much, you know, enjoy, go get some sunshine, get some fresh air, allow your, <laughs> allow yourself to breathe, allow your body to breathe, you know, like open your energy outwards and upwards physically, like move your body like that. Um, yeah, Spirit's saying, even if it feels like something is falling apart or fell apart in your life, it's temporary. It's only a temporary moment um, of pause because it's like you needed a pause so that you could become more appreciative of <laughs> literally just what's in your immediate circumstances is like what I'm getting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel, yeah, yeah. you might feel a little out of balance or disconnected with your energy. I totally, totally understand. I'm feeling that for you and it's okay. Like it really is fine. Things are gonna work themselves out. You're, the fact that you were even brought to this video is a really good step. Like it means you're stepping up energetically. You're becoming more aware of your energy. Um, yeah, you're becoming more enlightened to the way that you function and what works for you and what doesn't. And you're being called to step up and to take to take action with whatever in your life is calling you to take action, to just do it. Um, because you'll feel so free. You'll feel so free once you do it and everything will become clearer and you'll, you're, you'll start to, to, to come back into balance with yourself. Yeah. I see the flame that I have is like this, like do, 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 do. It's been doing that. And I've been kind of thinking about how your energy feels a little like it's being pulled in a lot of directions is what I'm getting. And I, 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 I totally, I feel for you. And I think that it's really just about gaining perspective and an understanding that if something isn't making you happy, why is it in your life, you know? And that can be hard because we wanna please others and all this stuff, but ultimately you have the answers already within you and this is just confirmation. So take that leap, do what feels right, do what feels good. You're on, <laughs> you're on a powerful journey, a very powerful journey and you are an important person. So I'm proud of you. Your spirit guides are very proud of you. They're like hailing you with light right now. They're like, look at you go. They love it. They're so proud of you for even being on this path and even listening to yourself. Um, and love will find you. Yeah. Love will find you wherever you go. You don't need to worry about that. You are destined to have love. You are destined to, to experience love in a lot of different ways. So just allow yourself to, to be appreciative of all that you have and in turn you'll receive a lot more so that is what i have for you my group number ones i very much hope you enjoyed comment below let me know what resonated let me know if you're about to take a leap of faith or you've been thinking about stuff let me know let me know what's going on i send you love and light thank you so much for watching have a beautiful and blessed rest of the day bye hello and welcome my group number twos to your reading this is my flint pile i love this stone i just got it it reminds me of a shark i don't know i love it welcome to your reading today we are asking spirit what it what it is what is it that you need to know <laughs> let's get into it ah my energy is already different from group number one i love it <laughs> i love magic all right spirits angels and guides what is it that my beautiful group number two viewers need to know right now All right, they're saying slow down. <laughs> I'm hearing um, slow down. You can feel it in the streets on a day like this. The heat, it feels like summer. Yeah, okay. You're being called to relax. You're being called to enjoy life, to enjoy the heat, to enjoy the feeling of the warmth on your skin. It's like they want you to stop taking things so seriously. You know what I mean? Summer is all about that feeling of freedom. It's all about that feeling of relaxation. And even if it's hard to cultivate that right now, I see with this eight of air. Yeah, eight of air. Yeah, I totally understand. You're putting in a lot of work into your physical world. Maybe you've been thinking a lot. Maybe your thoughts are kind of really like stressing you out. Yeah, I feel it. You know, Spirit's saying you are this divine being and you're having a human experience and that is not easy like <laughs> hell no it's not easy no but spirit is saying also that 
you're allowed to take a break. You know, you are encouraged to take a break. And if that means taking some time off of work, if that means laying by the poolside, uh, if that means listening to your favorite music, or just going for a joy ride, like literally just driving and listening to music with the windows down and like, you know, it's about cultivating these small moments throughout the day of of enjoyment, of pleasure, you know what I mean? If it's, if it's waking up and um, giving yourself kisses, like kissing your hands, kissing your arms and saying, good morning, gorgeous. We're gonna have a beautiful day today full of peace and joy and love and light. You know what I mean? Like, it's about that. It's about slowing down the words you say. It's about taking deep breaths throughout the day. You know what I mean? It's about writing poetry. It's about writing lyrics. Like, I'm getting a very, like, artistic vibe from you. I'm getting a very, like, um, like, look, like, I'm just, like, flowing, you know what I mean? Like, spirit wants you to just flow. Like, they just want you to feel your energy out. Like, take deep breaths when the thoughts come in and they start to be hectic. Just, just slow yourself down. Just slow yourself down. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Spirit knows that you've been making sacrifices left and right. Spirit knows that you're working hard. Too hard is what spirit is saying too hard for sure yeah 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 ten of fire in reverse so yeah you're you're making so many sacrifices either for the people around you or like for a job or something that it's in fact you're sacrificing your happiness you're sacrificing your balance your energy is being kind of stolen from you and and it's like you're doing it to yourself almost but it's like you know, because you're feeding a bigger hand, you're feeding the hand of corporations or a job or a workplace. That's what I'm getting. Like, it feels like your work is not repaying you enough. Like, it's not bringing you enough joy and healing for all that you're giving into it. For all that you're pouring in, it feels like you're not getting enough back. And I feel like it's, a, it's making you feel out of balance and it's making you feel out of whack, you know? Like, your energy is just drifting away from you is what I'm feeling um and and you know honestly you don't deserve that honestly like you you are a divine being and you are having a human experience and that does require sacrifice sure you know but at the end of the day what are you sacrificing because if it's your happiness and your peace <laughs> You know, spirit is encouraging you to to really to really ask yourself what is it that you're really really gaining from this experience, and if it's not an equal return of what you're giving, then you might want to pull your energy back a little bit and just kind of allow yourself to recharge. You know, rebalance, take some time off. Yeah, three of air, three of swords. Yeah, look at you. You're being called to to explore a new, can you see that? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Why? I just wanted to focus on their face. There we go, there you go. <laughs> um, you're being called to explore either a new area of study or to delve deeper into something that makes you feel passionate, that makes you feel joyful. Um, and I see you thinking a lot. I, I see you being in like a pondering mood, like, really thinking about something in your life and you're being called to do so. If you need to do more research on a subject and figure out what feels right, then do that. But I'm seeing you just like really, spirit wants you to grant yourself more time into, or spirit wants, yeah, to grant yourself more time and energy into what makes you feel the most like you, if that makes sense. Um, like if you're a writer, spirit wants you to start writing again. And if you're, you know, a spiritual person, spirit wants you to to like experiment with something new in that field, you know, like if you're an energy worker, for example, maybe spirit wants you to start delving into the world of tarot. Or if you're a tarot reader or something, spirit wants you to start working with like spells or with plants or with animals or with heal, you know, like something else. Spirit just wants you to keep expanding yourself because I think there's going to be something that you're going to realize 
about yourself or about your purpose or your calling is what I'm getting and like it's not what you're expecting and I think that if all your energy is being poured into one aspect of your life and all the rest are being neglected there's a clear imbalance there of energy and you may feel not very empowered and spirit wants you to kind of regain your power you know like just even in little ways just by doing little things that that help you feel more like yourself is what I'm getting yeah yeah that's beautiful and also your guides are with you they're right over your shoulder like even in tough situations your guides are with you you know what I mean like even in easy situations they're there you know what I mean they're with you so they want to kind of comfort you right now and be like you know maybe you've been feeling a little alone or a little lost and they're saying we love you we love you so much we love you <laughs> to oblivion and back like there's nothing we wouldn't do for you all you have to do is ask all you have to do is ask that's the fact so if you're struggling with something in your life, call upon your guides and just say, hey, can spirits, angels, and guides, can you just help me with this? Like, I just need guidance, uh, courage, I need inspiration, I need creativity, I need empowerment, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, just lay it out and just ask and then just be cool with the fact that you asked and go do something else and it's done, it's already been done. So yeah, you're being encouraged to reach out. Okay, King of Wands, King of Fire. Wow, look how beautiful that card is. Yeah, so you're definitely, definitely, definitely <laughs> stepping into a higher role in your life, a role of empowerment, a role of communication, a role of standing up for yourself and standing your ground. Um, this may have to do with creativity. You may be like heading a creative project or um, feeling the calling to do so or feeling like you need to collaborate with people. Spirit's saying you have the ability to take charge and we want you to take charge. Like now is the time to be a leader. They're saying you're a natural born leader. You were gifted either through your ancestry, through your lineage, or just through the grace of God that like you are meant to lead in this life. So they're saying this, whatever's happening in your life is important. It's meant, it's a moment that is a challenge that is meant to teach you how to stand up for yourself and is meant to teach you how to articulate yourself in a world that is going to give you backlash no matter what. In a world that is going to judge you no matter what because that's just the nature of society. Um, they're going to try to oppress you, they're going to try to judge you and it doesn't matter. Spirit is saying you have the ability, King of Fire, to be bold. The king of fire reminds me of Leo energy, right? A Leo is the lion. So a Leo is soft and is gentle and is kind with the ones they love. They're loyal, they're protective, but they demand a lot of attention. They are very integral people. They are leaders. So, you know, it is what it is. They're the sun, you know, look how much fire is here. They're the sun. So you're being called to re-inspire yourself. And by doing so, you're gonna re-inspire others, okay? So this is a powerful moment for you. This is a very powerful moment for you. Wow, wow. Are you joking? The sage is the bottom of the deck. Yeah, dude, you are, this is a moment of wisdom. You are gaining wisdom from whatever is happening in your life. I know that it feels hard. I know that it feels stagnant, whatever you're in, whatever experience you're experiencing. I know that you feel stuck or trapped in, a, in an experience is what I'm getting, but listen, whatever's happening, you are meant to take the lead. You are meant to express yourself. You are meant to express yourself boldly, fiercely, and not in a disrespectful way, but in a way that's like, listen, <laughs> this ain't working. You know what I mean? Like if that's the situation, this ain't working. And I gotta bounce, like that's what I'm getting. And by doing so, you're gaining a wisdom. You're uncovering a layer of yourself that is so powerful. Wow. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> you're gonna feel really um, blessed. You're gonna feel really blessed once you gain the courage and the momentum to act on whatever is calling you to do so, whether that's starting a new project or leaving something or creating something with others. Like I am getting a collaboration vibe. Uh, yeah, you're gonna feel pretty blessed once you take that leap. That's what, that's what Spirit is saying. Hold on, one fell on the floor. Ugh. 
yeah, thought in reverse. I <laughs> For some of you, this just made me think of like, I just got a visual of someone watching this and being like so amped up by what I'm saying and being like, like not even needing to think, just acting immediately. Kind of cool, kind of kind of the vibe, kind of king of fire energy, not gonna lie. Impulsive as hell, honey. I mean, I'm a big supporter of that. I'm a big supporter of that only because like, that's kind of the way I am. Like, well, that's like, whatever. Basically what I'm getting is, thought right like thought in reverse so that could be happening for some of you but then also for some of you it could be like well you might need to think a little bit more about this before you act just so that you have a good game plan is what I'm hearing because if what I'm saying is resonating and if you're like yes yes I need to do that and you were already thinking about it before this this is confirmation like you already knew you know what I mean you already know but you might need to think a little bit about it so you have like a good game plan in place and then go for it honestly do it just do it that's what i'm saying that's what spirit's telling me to say so feeling pretty good about that for you what else spirits angels and guides any other messages from my group number two? Ooh. whoa we got a lot of cards um okay holy confirmation integrity what did I call the King of Fire just a moment ago? An integral leader, uh-huh, that's right. And I think that's why you need to think. I think that's what the game plan vibe is all about because it's like, listen, you gotta do what you gotta do, but you gotta act wisely. Like, don't just do things because for the, for the sake of it. Like, no, like do things that make sense to you and act in a way that's mature, act in a way that's respectable because by doing so, you're only inviting more of that good energy back into your life like if you were to do something but being kind of rude about it like or hasty with it is what i'm hearing it might not play out so well for you so really think things over first and then just do what feels right follow your heart at the end of the day that's what i'm getting follow your heart we have the ace of water ace of cups vibes yeah you're about to take a step towards your own empowerment you're about to take a step towards your own light your own love by doing so, you are unlocking a holy well of emotion from yourself. Also, we are in cancer season, we've just entered. So I do feel like a lot of this powerful, passionate energy that's fueling through you is connected to your intuition and your emotions. And I feel like that may be partly why you're feeling a lot of creative inspiration. If you are, that's the vibe I'm getting. Um, so they're saying use that, act on it. You know what I mean? If you're feeling inspiration, do something with it. Because by doing so, you're pouring energy into yourself. Your heart is like overflowing every single time you trust yourself. Every single time you do something that feels instinctual or intuitive to you, your heart is like, oh, oh. it's like swelling like that. <laughs> Just like that. And what is it welcoming in? Abundance, baby. Yeah, dude, this is such a positive group. I'm so happy for you. You're welcoming in a lot of abundance, whether that means through money or through just spiritual abundance or emotional abundance, you are doing something right. And by acting on your impulses, you're doing something super right. Super fly is what I heard. So you might be like doing something that attracts a lot of attention or people really notice and they're like, ah, oh, wow. Um, like group number two. You got a real energy about you right now that I'm really feeling. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you're really um, attractive or people are really attracted to you in this moment is what I'm getting. It's kind of like, cause it's that King of Wands energy 100%. It's just like doing what you want and being like, uh, sorry, I gotta do me. <laughs> sorry if you don't like it, but like, this is my path. You know what I mean? And that's super attractive for sure. So yeah, people might start coming like, like flocking to you romantically. I'm not even kidding. I'm seeing a flock of birds. That's what I'm channeling right now. So yeah, I mean, just <laughs> choose wisely. <laughs> choose wisely is, is what I'm hearing, honestly. Choose wisely because, you know, a lot of people will offer you things in your life and whether it's partnerships romantically or friends or business partners, just choose wisely. Trust your intuition, trust your gut. Don't let other people sway you is what I'm getting. Yeah, you are the best judge of character in your life for you. So lead with your, <laughs> lead with your gut. 
All right, that's what I'm getting. Group number two, that is your message from spirit. Thank you, spirits, angels, and guides. Thank you, that was amazing. I feel pretty amped up from your energy, so thank you also for being here with me. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Comment below, let me know what you thought, let me know what resonated or what didn't. Sending you love and light. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello and welcome group number three to your reading. This is my Seraphonite pile. Welcome. The readings for group one and two have been pretty freaking fabulous so far. So hopefully we'll be riding that smooth positive wave for y'all. Let's get into it. Spirits, angels, and guides, what do my group number three viewers need to know? What is it that they need to know, Spirit? Please tell me. All right, well, I heard you're on the right path. Stay the course. All right, Queen of Air coming out. She was a little reversed. She wanted to be in the reverse just a little bit. Okay, yeah, so I'm hearing that you're, there are a lot of decisions, maybe even difficult decisions that are being placed in front of you. <laughs> wow, choice is the bottom of the deck. Wow. Um, and you may be someone who, it may be hard for you to, to sever ties with people or circumstances, or you may have a hard time really being harsh or articulating your needs in a way that feels, you know, in a situation that's not super easy. Um, so I feel like there is a choice and you are having a little bit trouble a little bit of trouble articulating yourself or your needs in this situation But it feels like this choice is just being forced upon you like it feels like this is just being sprung upon you and there's not too many Variables that are really trying to steer you away from it It feels like the universe is putting a choice in front of your face so that you can clearly decide what you want and that you can act on it this feels like an important decision in your life. This feels like something that will help you uncover a, a le level of wisdom within yourself and appreciation for your wisdom. Um, and I'm getting also that, you know, this situation doesn't need to be taken as seriously as it's being taken. Um, like the queen of air, you know, she is kind of a strict person, but with it in reverse, there is kind of an aspect of this that's like, well, what if you did try to switch your perspective up a little bit and try to see things in a way that's a little more humorous or like a little more lighthearted or a little more like, what would my childlike self do? Like what would child me want me to do? Like if I had a little sibling and they were me, <laughs> what would they tell me to do? You know what I mean? Like what would they really want me to do? And I feel like you're being called to act upon that decision. Whatever they would advise you to do is probably what your heart wants you to do. And so I'm being guided to tell you that that is the right decision for you. But I'm also hearing patience, patience, young one, patience. So it may also be an aspect of just riding out the wave and seeing what happens. Yeah, 10 of fire, 10 of fire, 10 of wands. Wow, you are a very powerful being. You are someone who has the answers. You're very wise. You're very in touch with your energy is what I'm getting. Um, your energy is guiding you right now towards the correct answer if you do have a decision to make. And I do feel like your thoughts may be trying to get the best of you, but your physical body always knows. Your physical body always knows. And I think that if you've been exercising more or doing something to stimulate your physical body, spirit saying this is good. Your energy is flowing in a way that is very beneficial for you. Um, your blood is flowing. You're getting more circulation to the brain. So they're encouraging you to move around, to get exercised so you can kind of get out of your head space a little bit and instead move into your physical being. Hmm. Yeah, five of earth, but it kind of wanted to be in reverse. So yeah, I'm seeing there are other factors in your life. There are other people in your life that want things from you. They're trying to take things from you. And this doesn't feel fair. This doesn't feel generous. This feels like you're a very generous person and other people are playing on that. They feel the energy of dissonance coming from you. 
they feel that you're not entirely down with whatever's happening and they're trying to play their cards right. That's what I'm getting and I don't like that. That feels sneaky to me. That doesn't feel clean is what I'm getting. That doesn't feel right. Um, you may be called to purify your energy right now. You may be being called to swim or in your showers to set intentions of cleansing the negative energy of others away from you or to sage your space, right? Get some sage and light it or Palo Santo. You're being called to cleanse your space and your energy because I think there are people in your life who are trying to sneakily get their way with you. And I don't like that. Okay, but your guides are watching and they know what's happening and they're seeing it and they're, that's why they're bringing you to this video. That's why they're bringing you answers. But at the same time, they're saying, you've got the answers within you, babe. Like, you know what's good, so trust yourself. Yeah, look. I love this. I love this image. Oh, I don't know. I really like his eyes. Look at his like little face. <laughs> I like it. Okay, um, nine of fire. Yeah, stick to your beliefs. Stand up for yourself. You are the magician of your reality. You have the ability to create what's right for you in this life. You may be starting a business or thinking about starting a business or thinking about creative ideas or like creative projects to get going with. Spirit's saying that this is happening for you. You are about to receive help for these projects. Um, and the more that you can ground yourself, the easier this is becoming. Because I see that your solar plexus chakra is definitely being stimulated. Solar plexus, sacral chakra energy here. Um, yeah, so I feel like creativity is coming to you in waves right now, or bursts. And Spirit's saying, ride that wave. Ride that wave all the way through. Because you're creating something. Something is happening. Something that you, you can't exactly see just yet, but you feel it. Yeah, you definitely feel it. Three of water. Three of water to me. This is telling me... Um, three of water. This is telling me that you have been through lots in your life. You have been through a lot of emotional ups and downs. A lot of emotional roller coaster rides. <laughs> and Spirit's saying, we know that things haven't been easy. We know that your heart hurts sometimes. We know that your energy feels pulled in a lot of different directions. And we're not trying to do that to you on purpose. We're trying to gain you the clarity and the wisdom that you need to take this next step forward. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, Spirit's trying to balance your energy out. Um, that's probably why you were brought to this video. I feel like you were brought to this reading for a reason. <laughs> like, I feel like this really is going to impact you. And I'm hoping it does because with the Three of Water, it's also about appreciating how far you've come. It's about not only looking towards the future and thinking about what you can have and dreaming about what you can have, which is very powerful, a powerful thing to do um, in terms of, you know, manifesting the reality you want and, and, and cultivating the energy of gratitude. It's a good way to just daydream about things you'd like, you know, um, but Spirit also wants you to be proud of yourself for how far you've come. Spirit wants you to know that every step of this journey has been meant for you. Every step of this journey has brought you to this exact moment for a reason. There's, there have been hardships, there has been heartbreak, there has been loss, there has been envy, there has been success, there has been triumph. This is what I'm hearing. And Spirit's saying that it has all been to teach you these very valuable lessons and you are doing a fabulous job at that. You are doing a really good job at experiencing this life and, and you know, understanding what it is that you're experiencing. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting like an analytical vibe. You might have Virgo placements in your chart um, or earth. I'm definitely getting earth vibes, water vibes, air vibes for sure. Um, you know, but Spirit's saying like, it's a time for healing. We have healing in the reverse. Spirit's saying that something in your life is pulling you in too many directions, whether it be the people or the responsibilities. Spirit wants you to come back to yourself and realize how far you've come and be like, listen, I need to just take a step back for me. I need to take a step back so I can replenish. So I can come back tomorrow and be way better fueled, way better charged. Um... 
yeah, so they're saying stand up for yourself. Stand up for yourself, yeah. They don't want you to be afraid anymore. They don't want you to be afraid to do things that make you feel happy or that make you feel right. They want you to trust that. They want you to trust your feelings and keep following the flow of your intuition and your feelings and your instincts because they're leading you towards success. With the nine of earth here, this is about being generous. This is about being generous with yourself. Look how she's holding the butterfly right by her heart. She's becoming so awakened. Her third eye is totally seeing through the bullshit. Like, she's not questioning things anymore. She knows. She knows. You're moving into a stage of knowing. Um, knowing what's good for you. Knowing what heals you. And you're being called to follow that. To trust that. And to triumph over that. I keep getting triumph for you. That's interesting. Yeah. You're going to try. You're going to, like, overcome something or work through something. And you're going to feel this great sensation of triumph <laughs> it's brilliant your ancestors are very connected with you by the way i'm getting energy that your ancestors are like pushing you pushing you but like do it do it do it like keep hustling keep hustling keep hustling but then they're like Whir! like Skrr! like pull it back you know what i mean and then they just want you to full stop and listen to yourself and listen to your heart because it's like you had to keep hustling 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 doing whatever you're doing following the grind and then they are literally stopping you like they're halting you um something in your life is halting you and they just want you to come back to your heart and listen in and then trust whatever it tells you ten of earth yeah yeah this is about finding stability this is about finding abundance this is about Releasing the mask of expectations. The world has so many expectations, always. And Spirit is saying, you don't need to abide by all of them. Spirit is saying, you have the truth. You don't need to wear this mask. You don't need to please anyone else. You are enough because you are alive. You have been chosen to experience this experience. So embrace it, you know? Enjoy it. Do what makes you feel right. Do what makes you feel safe. Do what makes you feel grounded because there's there's a real revealing here, a revelation energy um, finding you right now, grounding you in yourself, in your truth. Yeah. Look at this. She's like looking right at me. She's like, mm, I see you. Like there's a real like higher self aspect of whoever's watching this. Like your higher self is like, like, this is funny, like your higher self is like kind of like smirking, like her face, literally her face exactly. I don't know if you can tell, she's like smiling a little. She's like, the corners of her mouth are turned up a little. I hope you can see. I don't know, I feel like it's not translating, but to me it looks like she's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, boo, I got you. Just keep riding the wave and then listen to your heart and act when you need to, act when it feels right. Like. You got this. You got this. Your heart knows. Just do what feels right. That's what I'm getting. Anything else, Spirit, for my group number threes? Okay. Oh, no. I thought one flipped, but it didn't. Yeah, I feel like illusions in your life are becoming clearer to you. I feel like things that seemed good at first are becoming... <laughs> pretty rapidly not so good or like you're realizing this isn't for me and you're like I gotta go <laughs> that's what I'm getting I don't know that's really what I'm getting two of air yeah you're you're learning duality you're learning balance um you may feel out of balance right now but that's because whatever's happening is meant to teach you balance so you know it's all good you're culminating a sense of well-being for sure and you just have to go through these hardships and ride the wave and come out on the other end of it, which is happening soon, it's happening now, um, to find your peace. So, you know, you're doing great, you're doing so great, and everything that's happening is meant to teach you balance. So just do what feels right. That is the main message, do what feels right. And you'll be great, you'll be fine. You're doing so great, you're doing amazing. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Sweetie, I hope you enjoyed. Bottom of the deck, integrity. Do things with pride, do things with joy, be mature, be kind, be soft with your energy, don't be harsh, um, be thoughtful, but take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and stand up for yourself. All right, that's what I'm getting, my gorgeous group number threes. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below, tell me if any of this resonated. Tell me what you thought and 
I'm sending you all the love and light in the world. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.